Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's see what happens to the image as we continue to move the object further away from the boundary. First we'll place it 50 centimeters away and then we'll place it out towards infinity. Where will the image be when we do that? Well let's tackle the next one when the object is 50 centimeters away from the boundary. Again we use the same equation n1 which is 1.5 divided by s which now becomes 50 centimeters plus n2, 1 divided by s prime, which is what we're looking for. That's going to be equal to n2, which is 1 minus n1, 1.5, all divided by the radius of curvature. And again, since the, the, the curvature is away from the object, so it's basically a concave curvature relative to the object, we must have a negative radius of curvature. It's only positive if the curvature is towards the object, which means if it's convex relative to the object. All right, let's solve for this. We have 1 over s prime is equal to, this becomes minus 0.5 over minus 20 or 0.5 over positive 20 minus, move that across, we get 1.5 over 50. Now the common denominator here looks like it's 100. So this becomes equal to 2.5 divided by 100 minus, that would be 3 divided by 100. So 1 over s prime is equal to minus 0 0.5 divided by 100. Notice that this number in magnitude is still bigger than this one, so the result will be a negative quantity. And that means that s prime will be the inverse of that, 100 divided by 0 0.5, that would be 200, and the negative makes it minus 200 centimeters. So here you can see the pattern as the object moves far to the right, the image moves far to the right by a much greater extent. You can see that it's moving much faster to the right as the object moves to the right, and, and the object reaches a distance of 50 centimeters, the image will now be 200 centimeters away. Of course, I don't have 200 centimeters on the board, we'll, we'll simulate it. So here the image, this would be image 4 from object 4, and that would be at s prime is equal to minus 200 centimeter, we'll call, we'll call it s4 prime. Well, what do you think is going to happen when we place the object near infinity? Hmm, that should be interesting, let's figure it out. So now again we use the same equation, now we use the case where s Five, the object distance is going to go to infinity. So we have n1, 1.5 divided by s, which now becomes infinity, plus 1 over s prime. That's going to be equal to n2, which is 1 minus n1, 1.5 divided by a minus 20. Of course, anything divided by infinity, that becomes 0. So this term disappears. And we have 1 over s prime is equal to 0 0.5 over 20, or s prime is equal to 20 divided by 0 0.5, which is 40 centimeters. So something has happened here. If we place the object sufficiently far enough to the right, the s prime distance now becomes positive, which means it's now going to be on the other side. And notice that it's going to be twice the distance as the radius of curvature on the other side. So now we have a real image. On the other side, right here, here's our image. The distance to the vertex from there, that would be a 40 centimeters. So we'll call this S5 prime. And notice that it's twice the radius of curvature of the boundary. And so as the object goes to infinity, we end up with an object, with an image on the other side relative to the object. And that's how it's done.